swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I did. Please be seated. Miss Helga, can you please tell the court how exactly you know Miss Cavell? I worked with her in a Red Cross German hospital. And how long have you done that for? About well, three years. And have you ever seen any suspicious activity coming from Miss Cavell? Yeah. Now that the trial started, you know, different stuff started coming about. And she was with soldiers right before they disappeared. And I found several soldiers hidden in weird places, like in the closets, like they had one around the hospital where they weren't supposed to be, and stuff like that. What was your distinct relationship with this event? Well, we didn't get along. Well, we were okay, but she was very outspoken and about equal treatment and how the soldiers should be let free. And she was very kind of socially rude because she didn't invite anybody to her house like normal people did. You say she was outspoken. Do you mean outspoken against the treatment of the patients or against the war? What kind of outspoken? Definitely against the war and treatment of patients should be equal for everyone. But did you ever see her do anything directly to harm a patient or treat one side unfairly? No. She was always giving equal care, is yes. what you're saying? Yes. So there's no proofs that you have saying that she was sneaking patients out of the hospital? Well, no, I don't reckon. Let the court show that there is no proof that Ms. Edith Cavell was sneaking patients out of the hospital, and she was, in fact, providing equal care for all patients in the hospital. Does she walk in the Bible? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you, God? I do. Ms. Huntington, can you please tell the court what exactly you do? I'm a member of the National Council of Nursing. And in your professional definition, what is nursing? Nursing is the protection, promotion, and optimization of health and abilities, prevention of illness and injury, alleviation of suffering through the diagnosis and treatment of human response, and advocacy in the care of individuals, families, communities, and populations. And in your professional opinion, how did Ms. Cavell represent this definition? Ms. Cavell was doing her duties as a nurse to provide the care for her patients. So you're telling me that according to Ms. Von Schnitzel's testimony, Ms. Cavell is doing exactly as she's supposed to do as a nurse. Correct. She was advocating for her patients and providing the care equally to all of the patients. Thank you. We have no further questions. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Mr. Conwell, can you please inform the court how exactly you know Ms. Cavell? I was a soldier who was injured in war and I was sent to the German Red Cross camps to get help. To clarify, were you German or British? British. And how was your treatment by Ms. Cavell? Very compassionate. She helped in any way that she could. And in, in your opinion, does this represent Ms. Huntington's definition of nursing? Absolutely. To contrast, how would you say your German nurses treated you? Um, like I was a prisoner, which I was in their eyes. But did Ms. Cavell treat the Germans that way? She treated everyone equally. Now, you escaped, is that correct? That's correct. Can you please tell us Ms. Cavell's involvement in your escape? Well, after I had gotten better, she sent me to a friend's house, and that friend uh, gave me the proper identification to get back home. And so, just, just stating this, Ms. Cavell did not personally take you out of the country or illegally transport you back home? No. How would you say Ms. Cavell's actions changed your life? Well, I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for her. Um, and I never would have gotten to see my family again. But she did not personally have the illegal activity. Weren't you about to be discharged from the hospital? I was. But you were considered a prisoner? Is that why you were still there? Yeah, and I would have been kept there until who knows when. Let the record show that Ms. Cavell did not personally falsify documents. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. General Lindenberg, can you tell us how you know Ms. Cavell? Well, I'm a general for the German Army, and Ms. Cavell released my captives. How do you 
No, she released her captives. Is there any proof pointing to Ms. Cavell specifically? Well, these signs were posted around the institution. Permission to read? or French soldier in his house shall be severely punished. Now, General, how do you know Miss Cavell was hiding soldiers in her house? Well, all I know is my captains were gone, and I don't care who did it. I will defend every nurse at this institution until I find out who did this, and somebody will be punished for this crime. So you're telling me that there is no proof pointing to Miss Cavell you just want someone put behind bars. I just want someone to pay the price for this crime. Whoever released my captives will pay this price. Now, there is no proof saying Ms. Cavell did it. Not only did she care for British soldiers in this institution, she also cared for German soldiers. So you're unjustly putting someone behind bars who are taking care of your soldiers just to compensate for your lost prisoners? There were signs posted. Somebody broke the law. I'm mad because they released my captives. I don't want somebody to pay the price. Somebody? Why does that somebody have to be Miss Cavell? Well, they say she did it. I didn't see it, but all I know is my captives are gone. That's exactly right. You didn't see it. You don't know that Miss Cavell did this. So you were unjustly punishing a godly woman who was just trying to take care of her soldiers, including German ones. Is that correct? Yes. It doesn't matter who did it. Somebody's going to pay. So you have no reason to think that Miss Cavell did it, besides people were saying. Whoever did it, I don't care who it is, they're going to pay the price because my captives are gone. Well, why if that person needs to be Miss Cavell? You have no proof stating that she I don't care who it is. Order the court. You're dismissed. Thank you. Let the record show that there is no evidence pointing to Miss Cavell that the German army just wants somebody to compensate for their lost soldiers. And Miss Cavell is completely innocent. regardless of their political beliefs, regardless of their background, their status, and anything, to be treated equally and with the utmost respect that they deserve as human beings and as children of God. And how would you say you gave that equal care? Well, we, had, we housed with German and British soldiers, and I treated the German and the British like I would if it was my brother. But would you say, in retrospect, that mm -hmm. the German nurses did the same thing? Definitely not. So, in, in your personal opinion, they did not uphold the values of a nurse? No, not at all. And can you enlighten us on to why you made the decisions that you did? Well, like I said earlier, our training as nurses was to treat everyone and the everyone regardless. And then as a Christian, I was always taught that it didn't matter who anyone was, they were all children of God and deserved to be treated with respect. Can you enlighten us on to exactly how the British soldiers were treated? They were treated like dogs. They were just given the bare minimum of care. It was, it was just not a humane situation. And in your opinion, was it fair that you as a nurse were also taking care of German patients and treating them with the utmost respect and our British soldiers were not? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it fair, but I would call it the right thing to do. I would just, in, in that situation, I would hope that everyone would have that viewpoint. So, I, it wasn't fair, but it was the right thing. We are now questioning. Okay. The court will recess for a verdict. All rise for Judge Jeffries. You may be seated. The people of the jury and the court of Germany find Edith Cavell guilty of treason and sentenced to death by firing squad. Edith Cavell, any last words? Yes, I just want to let everyone know that I can't stop when there are still lives to be saved. I thank God for this 10 weeks time of quiet before the end. 
Life has always been hurried and full of difficulty. This time of rest has been a great mercy. They've all been kind to me here, but this I would say, standing as I do in front of God and eternity, that patriotism is not enough. I must have no hatred or bitterness towards anyone. And I want my friends to know that I give my wife life willingly to my country. I have no fear. I have seen death so often that it is not strange or fearful.